My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies. And at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me on my journey to profit from the hobby we all love. Hello, sports card investors. I am not Jeff Wilson. That's, that's pretty evident. Jeff is on vacation. He's probably on a beach somewhere, having a drink, having a great old time. And, and here I am, I'm stuck at the office working. But you know, alas, I'm here for you guys. I'm here to give you guys your top five so nothing falls off on our week of content because we're here for you guys. We wanna give you guys the right pick. We wanna make, make you well informed. Um, obviously first things first with what you're about to watch. I am gonna do my best to give you guys the top five. Um, this is probably the, the seventh time I've recorded this intro because I, this is incredibly hard, but um, I'll, you know, last let's get into it. I do wanna have an honorable mention before we start. Aaron Judge has been popping up on everybody's radar and we got a lot of comments the last top five of why is Aaron Judge not on it. Um, he's not on it this week again. Sorry, but he has had a recent dip in performance, which is sort of why he's been eked out for this guy here. This guy is gonna take number five, so let's go ahead and just get started. Why don't we, right? So top five, here we go. Number five, Fernando Tatis Jr. He is the 21-year-old Dominican San Diego Padres player, son of Fernando Tatis Sr. This guy has been expected to do great things. He was brought up and played his debut for the Padres in 2019, and he, and he is on fire. His last week, his card prices have shot up, and that is only a result of the way he's played. He is tied first in home runs with Aaron Judge. But let's talk about other things. He is tied second in RBIs. He's tied second in stolen bases. I mean, he's a five tool player he can pretty much do everything that is something that you want to see and a player you're investing in especially the fact he's super young so he has a lot of growth he has a lot of potential people expect him to be a lot better than his father let's look at the card prices and i'm obviously expecting it to show up as i'm talking about it so let's get into it first card price that is something i should definitely mention is his tops chrome base psa 10 at 2019 it's risen 118 percent and then after that the 2019 tops chrome refractor psa 10 has also up but 134 percent and then this is the one that's super crazy 2019 tops update psa 10 174 percent i mean this guy is going off the charts obviously the padres are nine and seven and their games the team success obviously weighs heavily on how well Tatis can keep playing. Number four, Russell Wilson. Now I'm not a big fan of Russell Wilson. He owns part of the Seattle Sounders, uh, an MLS team that I'm not particularly fond of because I'm an Atlanta United person. So he married Sierra, he makes up for it. It's fine, it's fine, Kelly. But Russell Wilson, he's obviously a Super Bowl champ. He's a seven time pro bowler. He has been a perennial top five quarterback. And some are saying he is a generational great. He's a generational talent, just like Tom Brady, just like Peyton Manning, just like Drew, B Drew Brees. And people are expecting him and his cards to go up. And they already have. And this is sort of where it's interesting to see because he was drafted in the third round and few expected him to really have great potential just because of his size. He's 5'11". But he has been, and he's been a fantastic player. He's been a great leader. He's been visible in pop culture. And these are sort of things that tend to bleed well into the community and, and to the card market. But lately, his card prices have been going crazy. And that comes back to this idea of this generational talent, right? So these Tom Brady's, these Drew Brees, these Peyton Mannings, these Eli Mannings, these guys are generational greats. And a lot of their iconic rookie cards have started going out of the roof because people want to collect them. But one of the interesting things about Russell Wilson is that his 2012 rookie card is rare. It's rare because they only made it a fraction of the cards then. So over the past two weeks, this is, this is a key factor into why his card prices have been going crazy. In the past two weeks, his 2012 Topps Chrome PSA 10 
which by the way has a pop count of 716 has risen, risen 55 percent right so it's it's now selling for over a thousand dollars this 2012 rc but his 2012 prism psa 10 this is one is crazy right the pop count on this is only 198 only 198 that is extremely rare and it's nearly doubled in price, right? So it's sitting at about 98% increase and it went from going to be about 1500 to almost 3000. As people buy more and more of these generational talents, these cards that are hard to come by because the print ratio is so low, it's going to only keep driving in price. And that is why Russell Wilson right now is sitting at our number four in top five. Number three, Gary Trent. Junior. He is what I consider to be a bubble breakout. And and that obviously refers to the Orlando bubble, the NBA bubble right now that they're playing in. But the Trailblazers guard, Gary Trent Jr., he's been one of the breakouts. Six games into the restart, he's averaging about 18 points per game. He is phenomenal in the three-point line. The string of games in which he's sort of gone nuts, so have his car's prices. He's had a 27 point breakout game against the Nuggets in the last three games, 27, 22, and five. And now this is where it'll be interesting to see because right now, because of his breakout, because of the points per games that he's averaging at the moment. And over the last week, his 2018 Prism Silver PSA 10 has actually quadrupled in value, right? In the months leading up to the bubble, this card was uh, about 40 to, $70. But now, <laughs> after the bubble and, and from the six game restart that he's had and the averaging points that he's had, this card is now going for about $400, right? So we're sitting there at $431.25 with the most recent sale at $8.8. Isn't that crazy? Gosh, some people are speculating though that this pattern with Gary is not going to be continued, right? Because after the last game, uh, last bad game against the 76ers. Do we see that to continue? It's too early to tell, but right now it's just all trending up. So it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see if this bubble breakout will continue, whether he'll keep climbing in prices with that three-point line shootout, or if we'll see his cards drop a little bit. But right now, he's our number three. Number two, it's another bubble breakout. Another bubble breakout. TJ Warren, although people, I will say this, people are expecting TJ Warren to have a little bit more sustainability in the card market outside of Gary Trent Jr. Drafted by the Suns, the 14th overall draft pick. Um, and he was actually just recently traded to the Pacers. Now in the NBA, when you're traded for cash considerations and not for any NBA draft picks, players take that as an insult to their ability and to their performance and sort of their potential as a player. And obviously this has motivated TJ Warren. He came out and released a video saying that he had a point to prove against the Suns and he is proving his point. I mean, last three games, he had 32 points, 16 points, and 39 points. His averages over the, the entirety of the bubble games though, he's looking at 53, 34, 32, uh, 16 and 39. So this guy is seriously dropping some massive points. He's averaging about 35 points a game and obviously notably dropping that 53 point game on the 76ers. So he is motivated. He is charged up. He is ready. And the question about sustainability comes into that factor. Does he continue to have that motivation? Does he continue to prove that point? And do we see him putting up these same numbers in the long run? Now, when it comes to card prices, over the last seven days, his 2014 Prism Base Raw has jumped 136%, guys. 136%. So this card, before the 31st, of July was selling for maybe less than $5, right? So we have one here on the first for $1.13 and right here on the 29th, we've got one going for $3.50. Obviously, if you got into the, the, the TJ Warner race right then and there, you're probably sitting very pretty, but currently it's selling 
between 60 and $80. That is a massive increase on before the 31st, before those games got restarted. I hope you're getting some bit of information out of this. I did a lot of research. The team did a lot of research to make sure that we give you guys everything you need to know about your top five. So here we are. We finally reached the point. You're, you're probably wanting this to be over super quick. I'm just gonna draw it a bit longer. Hi, you guys, how you doing? How's it going? You really want your number one? I don't know. <laughs> just, maybe we just talk a little bit to see, see how, how has your week been? It's been good? Okay, I'll pass the time. Um, if you've been paying attention to any bit of our social media at Sports Card Investor on either Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you have seen this guy's name pop up recently, frequently on our page. Michael Porter Jr. Yes. We are on the Michael Porter Jr. hype train. He is coming in at number one this week. He's been widely considered to be one of the best players and is coming out of his class, right? Um, so he was drafted by the Nuggets in 2018, the 14th overall draft pick. Um, people expected him to come in a little higher. Obviously the injury paused that from being a number one overall pick. But nonetheless, that injury that he sustained in uh, the University of Missouri made him sit out the 2018 season, right? So he had his first surgery um, for that back injury in 2017. He had a second in, a second surgery in 2018, which obviously, like we said, caused him to sit out his rookie year with the Nuggets. But here we are, Michael Porter Jr. is back. He's in the restart of the games and he is showing out, guys. He, in, the, in the past five games of the bubble, he's averaged uh, about 26 points Per game and had two games that were 30 points and over, right? So in all five games, here what this is what we're looking at: 11 game, 11 points, 37 points versus Oklahoma, 30 points versus San Antonio, 27, 23. This guy is going crazy, and so has his card prices. Let's look at the card prices, guys, because I know that's what you guys really want to see. All right. So his 2018 Prism Silver PSA 10 has risen 122% over the last week. His 2018 Prism Base BGS 9.5 up 128%. And his 2018 Prism Mosaic Raw has risen 200%. That is crazy numbers when you're looking at a player's rise in popularity and also in value in the card market. Now, do we see that to be sustainable? Is Michael Porter Jr. sustainable? Is, is this pace that he's going at with this research sustainable? Many people think it is. They think that he's finally reached this point with this prolonged injury where he is actually able to consistently play at this level. And you know, a 6'10 Ford who is insanely gifted it's about time that he really shines and shows his true potential. And this is what people are expecting him. People have been waiting to see this Michael Porter Jr. And a lot of people think that he's here to stay. All right. Holy cow. I did it. This is insane, guys. Um, I, such a learning lesson for doing this. Um, I, I obviously watch a lot of sports. Uh, it's kind of insane to break down players with uh, statistics and card prices, but nonetheless, that was your top five. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked any of the data that you saw, any of the graphs, you can obviously get that by using Market Movers, our data tool, and you can find market movers information by going to sportscardinvestor.com and clicking on market movers right now we are currently still having a promotion for 20 percent off your first payment if you use the code virtual so that's 20 percent off your first payment whether it's monthly or annually that's a big thing you can save a lot of money by just buying annually um but yeah that's it folks uh i hope you liked the video please don't be super harsh on me um, you know, I, I only recommend commenting Kelly's better than Jeff, but you know, to each their own, I guess. Um, but nonetheless, I really hoped you liked the top five this week and uh, good luck hunting guys. See you later.